think everybody is the same check. Yeah, everybody's supposed to be where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, let's get this party started. Um let's, let's roll. Uh hello everybody and welcome back again to another Sunday game of uh, my phone going off in the distance. Uh <laughs> Yes. Uh, also known as uh, Into the Wild Coast, uh, fifth edition Greyhawk campaign for the Dungeons and Dragons. So let's start with uh, Theta introducing his character and self. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Gar, total necromancer, totally fly dude. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Griffin. Everybody, I'm playing Baron Kicks, the Battlemaster Dragonborn. Uh, he's got a big ego and uh, is going to go dungeon diving today. Mm. And next up, we have Justin. All right, I am Justin, and I'm playing Marcus Klein Ollivander. And uh, I am a merchant noble who is pretending to be a dick, but not really a dick, but doing it because he has to. Yeah. Okay. And last but certainly not least, we have uh, Pandren. Hey guys, I'm playing Barricat, the eloquent tiefling bard, whose plans uh, seem infinitely uh, away in time, because we keep doing stuff <laughs> on the couple days before it happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last time, a certain group of people decided, hey, let's investigate an abandoned uh, manor. And the manor was indeed abandoned, at least on the surface. But on the ground, they made a couple of fireball spewing flying heads and survived three fireballs to the face, but decided that after stomping the uh, the skulls, that it would, that the retreat was the better part of Alan. And uh, are looking now for reinforcements to see if they can uh, go back in again. Yeah, we ain't trying to die. Yeah. Of course, well, time will tell. It's a little fire, you know. Yep. So you're out, and you're going back to the city. What are you going to do? Oh, um, I suppose we should go hunt down... Uh... Oh, where is Lil, anyway? I'm going to lay down. <laughs> Actually, wait. Lil was with us, so Lil and I'll depart. <laughs> so it's you and me. Yeah, uh, I'm like, why don't we come up with a plan, go back tomorrow? Fair enough. Ow. Uh, I suppose we should see if uh, Barricat and Gar are interested. I think Gar was busy with something, though, wasn't he? I, I don't know why it's taking so long. I, I, I did... Uh, try and see if he could look into finding somebody for me, but it's one person. And I gave him, like, a week's time period where it makes total sense that it shouldn't have taken that long. Ah, well, who's to say? Maybe he found something more interesting to read. Possibly. Alright, so I think the plan, then, is just go back and rest for now. So that sounds... So back to the sleeping giant. Yep, back to the sleeping giant. Uh, Bearcat, what are you? You're up not to? supposed to be seeing that. Come, you are seeing that. I don't That's know, but it's on the list. Interesting. I think maybe the the category is set to. If there's something visible within the category, then the category is revealed. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, apparently journal stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can see some of the monsters in the encounter category that I don't think I'm supposed to see. <laughs> Weird, that's... Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about now. I saw that earlier when I was getting Garf's sheet. I don't think we're supposed to be able to see that. The problem is that you guys were saying category, and I was thinking, oh shit, are we streaming to the wrong category? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll 20 category. But uh, Barricat is... Let's see. We've composed music, I believe. So we're on practicing and rehearsals. Um, 
yeah, I think mostly practicing and rehearsals. All right. And maybe being stressed. Uh, I would suppose after all that, you do pop up back at the end, though. Yeah. All right. So we'll have some drinks waiting for you whenever you get all done. I have a potential solution to our problem, but it's out of character. <laughs> oh. Well, Bearcat, you look exhausted. Oh, well, it's, um... A lot of work preparing a show. Oh, I got set on fire three times today, and I don't even look that bad. How did you get set on fire three times? Well, that's a funny story. Aren't you fire resistant? <laughs> well, not for very long. <laughs> fire resistant doesn't mean he's <laughs> fireproof. <laughs> oh, yeah, but like... We got real, I got better energy. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, well, interestingly enough, Marcus has found the most interesting sort of relic in town. Marcus, why don't you tell him? One sec. Uh, just a little distracted, apparently. Uh, no, I, because my idea is very good, but there's no way I could ever bring it up. I'm sending it to, to a lesson so I can get confirmation of how good it is. Um, Beyond that, <laughs> All right. um, yeah, no, I went to investigate someone who was apparently causing problems for other things, and Al, um, we got into a secret basement full of bones, where skulls flew around, spitting blasts of fire at us. Right. Three of them, in fact. So you broke and entered an abandoned property and found undead that also happened to be flaming. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds bad. I mean... <laughs> How else is it going <laughs> And... It's outside of the city walls. We did it in, in, in the cover okay. of night. It's... Now, there was constant eyes on us when we got in the house, but it's probably from somewhere down in the crypt. I'm sure that's very comforting to them. Was this also <laughs> the place where you were needed to dispel stuff? Well, yes, so but we found a way around it. See, we'd open the door from the outside instead of just instead of dispelling. Sorry, from the inside, not the outside. Okay, yeah, that makes much more sense. <laughs> okay. Um, well, did you find anything useful? Um, yes, we found that there was way more there than than should have been. It was a very well-hidden latch that I busted open with my magical prowess. Now, I can understand a family maybe keeping their personal catacombs uh, at least slightly protected, you know, maybe a lock or something. This seems a little bit out of the ordinary, and the fact that there's... Well, the living dead down there kind of has me skeptical as to what the purpose of this place is. You're going back, aren't you? Uh, Barricat, I have to be <laughs> honest. I don't want to go to another meeting. I don't want to go back to another casino. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Anything but the casino. <laughs> well, we're going to have to do that eventually, but... Uh... I wish I had contacts within the city that might be able to assist. I don't, though. I lost all of them. I don't suppose a uh, a couple noble party boys w w would be helpful. I highly suspect that they'd become casualties. That's what I figured. Assist in what way? Well, if they're party boys, I can think of a couple. No, like in what way do you need? Oh, assistance? oh, right, to going down the catacombs. Yes. Not Shouldn't Gar be in by now? Don't you think? Is Gar staying the night in the college, or is he uh, going? To... I thought that's what we said before, because I remember we had this oh, yeah. whole conversation about. Oh, I thought I couldn't stay there, and I realized that I was safe to, and not this place. Right. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you're involved in the scene if you want to be. That's all. Mm 
Well, unfortunately, somebody gave me a task that requires a week, if not a month, to accomplish. So, whoops. It shouldn't have been that much. Like, it's a simple task. Oh, yeah, sure. You gave me very <laughs> little information and a time date to go with it. Well, so that makes the three of us if we all go down there. Four, if we can find Gar and wherever he's studying. You said you sent him out to research something. He didn't leave the city, did he? I don't think so. It should have just been at the college. Huh. Again, like, well, it's, I don't suppose it's that difficult to find someone once you know their name and you know, like, general information. So I suppose we'll have to hunt him down a little <laughs> bit. I think as long as we stay careful... We should be able to explore it just fine, with only a limited number of us. We don't need necessarily large outside resources for this. What could possibly be, be down there anyway? Hmm. Could be many things. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, I'm going to try and look. Recover and not be as burnt. That would be a good idea. Very cat. I, I don't suppose Did you'll... All of you get burned? <laughs> I don't Everyone suppose this will interfere with there. your practice too much, will it? It's probably fine. Probably. See, that's the spirit. Here, take another <laughs> drink. I'd rather not. <laughs> All right, so I guess we have a slight plan at the moment. Rest up for the night, try to acquire Gar, and give it a look-see, right? Yeah. I'm considering... I'm considering seeing if I can hire someone from the, from the Mercenaries Guild. I mean, I do have my two bodyguards here. I'm not necessarily sure I want to throw them directly into danger or anything. They're really kind of for other purposes. Well, that's no that that's different. Plus, no disrespect to your bodyguards, I think they would probably go up in flames. I wouldn't like seeing that happen. I'm thinking someone a little, a little bit more skilled. Well, if you think you have the money for it, shouldn't though, because I do I, I do need to pay for lawyers. I guess everything is asking us for cash, isn't it? Oh, um, if I do succeed, uh, I will. I will have to cover back taxes. Hmm. That should be fun too. Now, I'm not too familiar with a lot of the magic you could do right now. I don't suppose you can do any kind of summoning, can you? Uh summoning of what? I have a couple of options. Hmm. Well, I think I've heard of mages summoning up elementals and things before. Oh, you've seen him do that before. Oh, you personally are capable of doing that, and you've demonstrated that. Oh, okay, there oh, we yeah, go, you, sweet. You, you've seen him summon a, summon a water elemental before. Well, then what do you need a mercenary for? <laughs> uh, I don't know much about magic overall. But from what I am led to... From what I am led to believe... So, it's very simple that, like, my magic gets powerful as I get, as I learn more, mm -hmm. but it's limited to the amount of times I can use it. For example, if you were to show me a scroll or a book, it would make no sense to me. I don't understand how I do what I do. I just do it. Right. I suppose you should be judicious in your power use, and I, of course, trust you to know what to use and when. It's true. But for now, I guess I tomorrow it, morning. I think my strongest summon option, while it does not last for an extended length of time, is that large tentacle that you saw. Well, at least that's still useful. It is. So tomorrow, try to find Gar... And I'll go ahead and start making some slight preparations. I should get my own crowbar about now. That will be useful, yes. 
All right. Uh, so I'm willing to go to the next day or shift over and see if Gar is doing anything. I mean, Gar is still doing research. Uh, he did find out that uh, you gave her her name, right? And you told her that uh, that she was a student at the university? Yep. And that was it. Uh, also, I gave a week time span. And the, like oh. the thing that's taking a lot of time is that there are a lot of records, a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, one one hundred percent. Like I'm just clarifying it, what the confusion might be. That that's yeah. the that's why I'm there for so long. I'm going through scroll rack after scroll rack after scroll rack. Okay. Um. Make a. Uh, I guess the investigation would be the role. You have assistance, so um, you can do uh, with a vent. Well, I have uh, ob observant. I think is this. Yeah. For the plus five passive uh, investigation. Yeah, but you're looking for something specific. It's not merely a matter of you know you notice something. So you have to roll. Depending how well you do, I'll tell you what you find out. Right, right. Well, I mean, that's the nature of investigation, is that you're actively doing something. I'll so, be right back. So yeah, you want me to just add a plus pass. five to it? Yeah. All right. And where am I at here? <laughs> Somehow, uh, the alphabet is failing me. Oh, there it is. So, 17. Unless you said I had advantage for somebody assisting me. Yeah, so you have advantage. So, 23. Uh, yeah, you do find you found her name. The last entry is about two years ago when she graduated, and uh, her last master, uh, and my master was a teacher as opposed to say you know she's following her or something like that. I'm gonna give you a name for the uh, for his former uh, teacher. Because the way they do it here, it's kind of like they do it in, in Britain and the elite universities. You sort of attach. We talked about this in another game. Well, I think yeah. we also mentioned that they were an apprentice of, which automatically yeah, yeah. assumes the master-teacher relationship. Yeah. Um, one, Iraf Gresk. Put it on the, uh... Let's see, how close was I... I was one letter off. I put an E at the end of his first name. A hey, ninety-nine percent. Good job. Not Gresky with Gresk. No, no, the first name. I put oh. Eraf as E I R A F E. Oh, okay. I assumed a silent E. Yeah. I do that to all your names. Kix actually has seven letters in his name. Entirely by design. They're all well, you, you, can ask, you can ask where he is or where is it, if anybody knows about him. You know. Okay, I need a quick reminder, I guess from Justin, because I don't remember what I'm supposed to be looking up now, since literally it's been a week since you've set me on this task in real life. Just where they might be. Okay, so... And the record has no uh, follow-up address, I guess? No. Okay, well then I guess I'm going to have to look up your IRAF, Gresk. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's easier you, if he was a teacher here. Uh, you can ask from the faculty. Yeah, sure. I'll go back to the front desk. No, yeah. um, it's like, oh, and um, did they tell you that the last time they heard about Ira Iraf Gresk was that he was he six months ago he grew up a couple of students and uh, got an expedition to the start. Uh, what's called the Star Kings, which is sorry, near... say it one more time for me. Star, uh, Star, what? Star Cairns. Oh, Karn, like a uh, cave. Yeah. Um, let's see. by the way, your camera's out, uh, Justin. If you're here, why is it? Why is my camera now going out? I'm not turning it off. I don't know. It's done it like three times. Well, it's back off again. I'm going to rejoin the call. Say, so is it overheating or anything? Is it like one of those high no. time cameras?
Anyway, uh, you were saying, listen, expedition to yeah, the Star Caves. Uh, yeah, that, uh, they're west to the east of um, a Greyhawk. I'm sorry, one uh, more time. You, I, I heard west and I also heard east. Which one was it? To the east. I said west, but that was a mistake. To the east of Greyhawk. Near uh, the town that you have been before, but they're further, further east. So it's, you know, it's uh, in that, in that, in that general region of what's oh, called yeah. the... Uh, Did you ever name that town? Did I just forget the name of that town? No, it's, um, it's a name no, because yeah. it's, uh, the... well, so, yeah. name, but it's an actual name. The, yeah, the, yeah, the I just remember that my friend's uh, wife lives there and whatnot. So it's just like, I can't remember what is. Yeah, let me just uh, fetch that then for you. Because otherwise, I'm be saitting you're the town of the residents of Shadow Spray. It's like, okay. By the way, are you uh, with us, uh, Justin? I am here. Um, I know what's going on. For some reason, it's not picking up on my camera. Yeah, say so it looks like OBS is taking over your feed right now. Yeah. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Diamond Lake is the name of the town. Enjoy those technical difficulties. Yeah, well, that's right. We're filling it with uh, mm. literally with useless, research. literally useless information. So they were researching uh, this area. Uh, it was known that the about a century, century and a half ago, uh, adventurers. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Um, I am here in voice, but I am figuring out why it's what's going on with my camera as we play. Mm -hmm. So they were uh, they're they've been researched, um, researching the area century ago, adventurers. Yeah, dot, um, dot, dot. Lo looking for what's called the last, the lost car, car, or Karen. I, yeah. because supposedly this is has the very re uh, research uh, that steps all the way back to uh, the reign of colorless fire. It's a badass name. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the uh, like the n invisible nuclear fire that killed the entire kingdom and turned the whole area into a desert that it mm -hmm. is today. Which would they think Scar would already know? So I don't think it's any uh, consolation yeah. for me, the player, to know it. Since you know, at this point, I believe Gar saw it happen. <laughs> no, I no. Uh, but at the same time, he speaks the language from those people. He is the research from that. Then it's a lot of stuff that Gar has already been into so mm -hmm. so it's um uh but that... uh sorry i think oh. i have an unconnected sentence i don't know if you finished or not a century no. ago adventurers and then yeah and, yeah no i mean sure those uh, centuries raided some of those currents and the massive hall of treasure fueled the growth and uh, a growth spurt in greyhawk but not all the cairns uh, or cairns, uh, whatever how you pronounce it, uh, have been found, and so constantly uh, people do uh, try to find the lost cairn because of the uh, the possibilities connected to the twin cataclysm, both historical as well as magical research, and um, perhaps in a very powerful weapon as well. It makes sense that the pronunciation would be cairn. Cairn, yeah. Yeah, I have no problem with the uh, pronunciation. I've seen the word before. Also, I do love that the weird camera rotations we've got going on right now with uh, Justin's camera being out of sync, because now Pando's camera, Pandoran's camera, is the GM seat, and it's just an empty <laughs> chair. Okay. Uh, why? Because when Justin has uh, yeah, 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 the I'm voice thing, well, no, I mean, when it does the voice thing, it shifts him out of order. Into a different alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. So technically, right now, you're just a mouth and a chest. 
lessons. Mm -hmm. I see it. I think I but got that's... most of the information you got anyway. I literally yeah. I wrote it all out anyway. Uh, yeah, so, so so basically that was the last time they heard about him, which is not unusual, right? These expeditions take time. He may have gone somewhere else, or he may have perished, as many have done so before, trying to find this place. Um I am actually just going to try doing a full-on system restart. All right. Because this is bothering me. Folks, I will hopefully be right back. No, I didn't even notice. That it was just you and me now. Two other empty chairs. So yeah, no, I mean, I get that information. This is the 24th still, right? That happened during the summer. Oh. No, 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 I mean today. I do yes, this yeah, research yeah. today, great. Yes, okay. you do that today, yeah. I was making sure we weren't flipping back to last night. So I was no, pretty sure no. I did everything I could last night. Yeah, you did very much. And you're pretty tired, too. You know, it's a... The, the sheer volume of the stuff, and then putting well, the assistants would put it back in place most of it because they know where it goes. In fact, they insist. Oh, yeah, no, but I mean, I slept here last night, I didn't just research yeah. through the night. Mm -hmm. I remember the joke was made that I could just sleep inside my own shell. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, if I get that information, I'll just head back out mm -hmm. to, I guess, the in bar tavern thing that we're staying at. Yeah. Why am I out of focus now? Hmm. You know, we've got to focus on mine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so, you, you go back and, uh, and well, you find everyone else there. Lael seems to be sleeping at something off, which is very rare because usually he just, uh, you know, meditating at this I'm hour. Sure, after he got drunk the first time, he just, now he has to have it. Now he's got the yeah. uh, Iron Man syndrome. <laughs> We yeah, got so. an incentive to rehab for today, you see. Yeah. And everyone else seems a bit um, singed. Particularly, uh, you know. Particularly your, no, Marcus. No, particularly Marcus, who actually has hair or lack thereof. Like, he doesn't have eyebrows right now. <laughs> it's a clear sign that. He was exposed to a, you know, bright flame. Well, welcome back, Gar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. So, yeah. Um, anybody going to explain to Gar what the heck is going on? I shall. Gar. So, an interesting thing happened. Marcus has been investigating a house that's out of town. And as it turns out, there's a catacomb to it that is oddly protected and secretive and also home to quite a variety of the living dead. Was it out of town? I, I think outside of the walls. I think that's how yes. it was described. Outside right? of the walls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, so, I've so been... It's... Thinking this whole time that it was something you guys were doing inside the walls. I thought that too last time, but well, now I no. have more details. Still, uh, you are the resident expert. I would appreciate it if maybe you could help Marcus with this. So, Marcus wants a second favor from me. I suppose so. Uh, I don't think he'd be opposed to owing you more, right? Oh, he can speak for himself once he's get, once he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> so in my head, he will be away his soul for you, real quick. <laughs> you remember the movie Wild Wild West when the scientist gets upset? Yes, I'm the master of the science stuff. <laughs> Oh, that has been ages since I've seen that movie. I mean, most people didn't like it, but I loved it, so... Uh, it, it's cheesy, that's all. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. 
Uh, I think our plan is to return, and if you come with us, well, maybe you could shed some light on whatever is going on in there. I suppose things have been boring as of late. Well, I mean, you did have your whole casino thing. I mean, had. It's not done yet. We haven't gone back yet. Oh, I assume you will eventually. Yeah. I mean, we had to come up with a plan first, which I think we are underway for. Well, best of luck to all of you figuring out how to do that. I will not have part in the thinking on that. You understand that we're here. known associates of yours, right? And I am practicing being far away from what is going to happen. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> it might, because uh, then I'll at least be far away from it. I think you'll find that if anybody has anything, any harm they want to do to you, even politically, they'll use the fact that your known associates have wound up in this position. You actually well, being there, not going to matter that much. Well, you know, if they don't like me, there, there's a saying, you know, uh, if Walk a, walk a mile in their shoes. This way you'll be a mile away and have their shoes. Right, but I'm saying if they're trying to get over you politically, that that would be a maneuver. It has nothing to do with them actually taking action against you physically. Mm -hmm. So your actual non-involvement will still involve you. Well, to that I would have to say... Please be careful and don't let it all blow back on all of us. But I'll worry about that at a later time. For now, haunted house. Yes. But uh, uh, let's let's weave a little bit in. Yeah, I just said we should try to fill let's... the conversation with political shit while we're waiting for Marcus to show back Bar up. Is 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 Barricut there? Or is he uh, gonna go? Bearcat is back at least, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we could always go ahead and just take a quick break until we get Marcus back. Sure, five minutes. Yeah, let's take Sound five good? minute break. All right, five minutes. Uh, some food to eat here too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can leave this on camera just for it's so fun when I look back just, to just... the edit. Yeah, does everyone watch me eat for a while? Well, what, what happened with Marcus anyway? I thought about clipping I mean, it. I thought about Justin. clipping it, like I do on the Iron Claw games. We're only thirty minutes in, so it's like, yeah, this isn't worthwhile. They can just watch you eat food. I'll be right back, while Justin. Oh, yeah. for Justin. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this up for a little bit. Oop. Hey, hey, welcome back. We just took a short break while waiting for you to come back. It It's all good. Did a reset. Ooh, okay. Went to the little... I was wondering what you were up to. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it is now, again, picking up any other form of camera. Oh, it, uh, it, it is? It is. Good. All right. Great to hear. Like... Before it wasn't even picking up my webcam, my my laptop's camera. It was yeah, just I picking up like an OBS filter up trying to do that. Yep. I just tried to do OBS virtual cam out of nowhere. Sorry about that. We took a little break while you were. Yeah. Oh, there is no need to. There, there is no need to apologize. Yeah. I I have food in my mouth, so I'm gonna eat that for a bit. Discord has uh, Discord does not like me for some reason. Uh, over the past two weeks. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, basically, uh, well, he'll tell you when he got back, but uh, they found a clue about where your lady friend could be. So. I'm always in for clues. I'm always in for lady friends. So that works. Hey, you're back. Uh, yeah, well, what everybody uh, to arrange a camera, so. We get, we, we. We get all all these regular Discord upgrade uh, updates, yeah. but uh, it seems to still be constantly overloaded. Ooh, maybe try a fresh install later. Yeah, that's all I can you think know of. What I might. Uh, they also have like their Canary beta client. I haven't loaded up for a while, but sometimes that will supersede some problems. So that's also an option on the table too. Which also falls under the fresh install category here. Mm -hmm. Waiting on the data. Mm -hmm. to do the magics and rearrange the things. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So what what of the songs that we put up on the Bardcore, what 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 is uh uh what's it, what's the set gonna be like? Oh fucking hell. I don't think you should, I think you should to open up with this one. <laughs> Get the crowd pumping right there. Oh you no. Know? I mean, down to a great fuck. I mean, I really do. I really do like the bardcore stuff. I also like uh, the Gregorian chant uh, versions of these songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta change Texas to Greyhawk, so yeah, and that'll be fine. Yeah, because that's where you have some fun. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess we're all back here. So yeah, back we're back. On page. Oh, let me turn uh, Justin's yeah. camera back on. Yes. Very important there, too. <laughs> Everybody's properly arranged, or close to it, anyway. All right. Uh, tell us when we're ready, Data. Let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, so everybody is on the lounge, and there's someone else who is there as well, Sev. And she's like, uh going anywhere um going apparently to a undead manor or something lots of fire he switches it's... to but Clooney's just like is the manor undead is that... well it's it's a manor filled with flaming undead apparently i haven't been there oh um, okay okay and she switches back to comments like ah okay yeah. i understand yeah that's that's I was, you know. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah. Tra translation. Yes, translation. <laughs> so, well, can I come with? Uh, I don't see why not. Okay. It will be dangerous. <laughs> and she was like, "Do you know how far my country is from here, sir?" 
Well, I would hope you didn't have to fight the undead in close quarters on your way. I've dealt with many nasty things in my past and in my way to and she points at him. Sorry, can I interject real quick? What country are you from? Uh, she is from uh, one of the two Baklunish uh, countries. I mm -hmm. uh, now I drew a blank. Well, I just but don't know if Baklunish. she's ever said it. Yeah. Well, at least um, maybe not in Gar's presence, which is why Gar yeah. is asking. Yeah. She's Baklunish, but she doesn't say exactly uh, from where exactly. But I can tell you. Well, there would be a follow-up question to that, which would be asked starting out of character. Would Gar know where that is or where that what that is? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty... It's common knowledge. I mean, yeah. general knowledge. Like, people know where, like, China is over there, right? So, so that kind of... Depends uh, if you're watching the Jay Leno on the street, man on the street interviews. Well, it's just true, but... Couldn't uh, find the United States on the map. Yeah. I mean, not that they can actually find it, but they, they, they know about... Uh, there's two Baklunish Interviewing nations. people will find people yeah. that don't know where it is. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. It's also, actually, if I go the Baklunish Basin or the Baklunish West, which is the northwestern portion of the planet, uh, there are two nations, uh, uh, well, many nations, but the most important ones are Egbir and Seif, and she's from Egbir. And that's to the, what, the far uh The Caliphate of Egbir, yeah, the far west. Far west, oh, west of here, okay, I was thinking the wrong west direction. Thing. Yeah. I was thinking where the giant sea was and everything like that. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so literally a part of the map I've never seen before out of character. <laughs> True. I'm so used to looking at the small portion centered around Greyhawk that ends with the desert on the bottom and not very far from where we're actually at on the map. Oops. Yeah, that's the bright desert. No, no, I didn't mean um, the desert. Sorry, I meant the edge of the map isn't very far from where Greyhawk is on the map. Mm -hmm. The one yeah. that I look at. Well, before we do get going, there was some information that would have been relayed. That I was not there for. Uh, we mainly uh, talked about uh, the ghost uh, castle. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we were waiting. Yeah. Well, we were waiting for you to come back to get all that information really out there. Me and Kix talked about it for a little bit, but we waited for your oh, frozen in midstream, Marcus, to <laughs> start talking. Oh, oh, right. This is time for Gar to ask if he's going to sell his soul or not. Oh, I never actually said that in character. Or out of character, for that matter. <laughs> You're the only one who ever said that. <laughs> no, no, let me put words in your mouth. Before. But since it's on the table, I require rights to your body after you're done with it. May I ask what for? Ah, uh, it's a joke. It's just a joke. We necromancer still. Well, that's unfortunate, because depending on the purpose, I have no problem with that. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to die anytime soon, which really makes the deal less palpable. Fair enough. Uh, By the way, have you found anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there were so many scrolls. I don't think you understand the undertaking finding one person in a city this size entails. Clearly not. I apologize. Uh, yeah, they're, they're apparently not here. Okay. Uh, let's see. They graduated uh, two years ago under the tutelage of one master... Eref Gresk. And they Gresk. Yes. Uh, and about six months ago they went out onto an expedition to the Star Cairns. Uh they haven't yet been heard from since. But I mean that's not of too much concern. Apparently adventurers go out there all the time trying to find the the lost uh Karen. Not to be confused with the lost Karen. Nobody wants to fire her. Well, my problem is that I've written them the same way. I couldn't remember on the fly how to spell <laughs> Karen. So it's just like, you know what? I'll say this the way I pronounce it. I'll write it down the way I pronounce it. I'll just write Karen. They'll hear me say yeah. Karen. There'll be no confusion. It's, it's, it, yeah, it, it, it's pronounced Karen. It's, uh, I, know that, I, I know that because of uh, White Wolf. See, my problem is the first thing I thought of was uh, either Magic the Gathering, the... Uh, Oh god, the golem, I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Yep. Or World Art. of Warcraft. Well, in that case, when we have time, I suppose it's something that can uh, warrant further investigation. 
and if it, anything seems off, we can possibly assist. But uh, no, I, I think into the basement we go. I mean, I do have friends near to that area that might be of some assistance. Oh, wonderful. I Although, love we do lean on them quite a lot these days, so they might. I don't know. You're still leaning on them right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I said. Well, I mean, <laughs> I you say that. At the same time, every time I lean on them, it's typically for something that's to their benefit as well. So there is that. <laughs> We do Mutually end up, beneficial, yeah. yeah. We end up coming out with you know balance zero at the end of the day. Amazing, they can support a six hundred pound tortoise like that. I don't get it. <laughs> Literally <laughs> leaning on them instead of figuratively. That's the joke. Well, there's two of them. I think one person can hold at least one hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty pounds on their own, especially when it's dragging weight and not uh, lifting weight. All right. For okay. the record. Uh, I have gone out and bought two vials of holy water. I was uh, literally waiting for you to say two crowbars. And a crowbar. And a crowbar. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Freeman. Uh, so let me put you all in... Oh, did I... You did send me another image of you, right, Gar? Uh, I don't think so. Did I? Do you have another image of me? No, just double checking. I mean, I did do a whole search trying to find a cool uh, Necromancer total uh, picture that didn't have robes or anything like that, but all I can come across is that cleric that was apparently in uh... shoot, what's the Matt Mercer uh, Critical Role? Was that, is it Critical mm -hmm. Role? Sorry, I don't yeah. watch the show. Apparently he had a uh, uh the total in that one. That's apparently a badass. I just never watched it. Yeah. Uh, it, it's Orly. Oh no! I I listened to him tell the story about how he was planning on how to get the how do I get the hand? How to get away from the party? I have this ally out here who's waiting for me to teleport back to him at some point, and it's an awesome story to hear him tell it. But I didn't watch it, so okay. I don't know. Let's let's start you down here first before you you know rush in ahead. Oh, do I need to drag myself out? Mm. Yeah, sorry. I was uh oh trying to get the camera zoom just right so that I caught everything and not the edge of the map. All right, now that we're back to this map, I should point out my token doesn't actually have its own vision. Instead, I'm using someone else's vision right now to see. That might need to be remedied. Doing the same. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't... Okay. Is your, you uh, have... is your water tentacle a uh, spell you have to cast, or is that just something you can do? You've taken my vision away, by the way. Oh, uh, now there's only kicks. So, it depends on which tentacle we're talking about. My regular tentacle is just something I can do with and have a set amount per day. Then okay. my water tentacle is big. I just saw it on the map and I was wondering, is that a spell slot you're using or is that just a thing you can do? You know, for my own benefit, I'm going to... That, 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 that was up there from before. Dragging out my owl as well. Since my owl has the uh, dark vision, I can just literally have him sit on my shoulder and I can just walk along and have him look as my eyes. Uh, your owl, what's the night vision of your owl? Uh, hold on. I got the sheet That's good. That's good. right here. Uh, oh, sorry. 60, what? Uh, I think it's longer. Sorry, 120 feet. For some reason, I thought it was on the top of the sheet, but no, it's actually in the sheet. You see now? Your owl can see as far yep. as I can. Yep, that's why I said before when we were talking about the ability to pick up warlock uh, invocations and whatnot, I was like, a lot of these spell invocation type things I can already do, so maybe not as useful. Okay, so who doesn't see right now? Well, uh, Kix, you should have eight, your candle with you, and that candle should be emitting light, correct? Everything is okay. looking good. Let's go here. So as you're mm -hmm. moving forward, um, you see the piles of bones. Uh, the ceiling is about 20 feet tall, as before. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are you going to do? Uh, I'll move forwards to the piles of bones. 
yeah, as you move forward, because you don't have to even make a check, you realize the, the bones start to move. They moved last time. Yeah, but this time it's not just a little bit of movement. It's a lot of movement. In fact, the bones seem to, some of them catch on fire. Well, that's new. Oh, it's already dead, though. So good. Mission accomplished, boys. So let me... Uh, let's... So two um, familiar to the uh, to the players. Um, I mean, uh, skeleton skeleton heads. That does give us information now that this is a resetting trap of some sort. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah. And I had another plan when I was moving up to the skull to see you guys know. I wasn't like, oh, let me just set off the trap. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to see what you do. Well, it has to happen after the trap. That My plan had yeah. nothing to do with the trap. Yeah. I'll be yeah. honest, when you guys told the story before, I kind of just assumed that the skulls were living in the piles of bones and weren't actually a trap. So, that's just another mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. Well, they are kind of living in the pile of bones. It's just that they arise as guardians, but it's not just the, the skulls. It's also literal burning skeletons. You know, when I say it, I mean that last time these guys were here, they faced a number of flaming skulls. So I assume that the flaming skulls were just, air quotes, living there. And yeah. once they were killed, that there would be no more flaming skulls here. The fact mm -hmm. that new skulls are arising... It tells me that there's something here doing that. Probably has something to do with the thing on the floor in the middle. Probably. We didn't get a chance to look at it last time. Or something else that has to do with the flaming skull. But, uh, or something inherent know. to the dungeon itself. Who the hell knows? I guess worthwhile to point out is that since we're outside of the city and doing something inherently dangerous that we know about, Kix is wearing his full armor this time. Yes. Yeah. Well, let me roll four. Rest in peace, our initiative. Yeah. <laughs> I love them single digits. I rolled two nat ones. Remember the uh the serpent temple. Remember? We all had shit initiatives there. We all also took multiple fireballs to the face. We all survived. My dice you also have a wizard with counter spell if it starts to get real bad. Can you counter spell the like, fireball like off of those things? Three people with fireball or counter spell. I mean, I mean, technically, it's going to fall in lessons if it if their ability uses the word cast, which is really pedantic how counter spell works. Once I looked it up, I.e., looking for spell like ability, not supernatural. I suppose. Right, right. If they're a thing, says that they use the word cast, I can counter spell. Like the same way, if an uh, an item use says you have the ability to cast, then I can counter spell. If not. Otherwise, if it doesn't use the word cast, I'm fucked. It's a spell caster. Is that the? Is that with the recent update? Uh, well, no. It's going oh, like back off of, of uh, discussion. No, I didn't watch that video. This is based on um, rules uh, questions from two years ago. Okay. I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, sage advice from day three of the Dungeons and Dragons video series. Yeah, Not... I haven't checked it out either, but yeah, I'm talking about uh, sage advice questions from two years ago that were that were asked about what counter spell could be used on. You can only counter spell one spell because it's a reaction as well. So one spell that. around. Yeah, we lost you again, Justin. So, uh, yeah, the two skulls uh, go first. They fly up 15 feet in the air to here, here, and they cast twin fireballs. If you're going to counter spell, you can't spell these camera. one of them. Yeah, you can't spell at least one of them, but not Yeah, both. I'll counter spell one of them. And It'd be a shame if we had another caster with counterspell here right now. 
looks at Sorcerer that we now have. Well, she's under your control. Yeah, she'll cast Counterspell. Okay, so we'll... And, and the, the skull Let's play. see if they succeed. No, but they I don't have to, because it's, yeah, uh, it's a throw I don't know, Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah, next up are the Burning Skeletons. With an eight. Still better than us. So they just charge to the nearest target, which happens to be Kix. Hello, oh, yes, please target me and nobody else. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. I mean, they're not that smart. But they do have a lot of attacks. Uh, first of all... Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. I didn't mean to put that up. They, uh, they have two attacks, and I'm going to roll 1d8 per skeleton fire damage. Okay. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 d8s. Because you're in the aura of their fire damage. All right, and I take half of it just immediately because, hey, I'm resistant. Yeah. I'm going to move one my just... light back here a little bit just and so he... it's easier to mess with. There and he, sh he shoots, the guy in the back just shoots fires at me. So one, two, so the melee attacks, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Those are two attacks per from the heated longswords. And they're looking to hit 18, so let's see yeah. what they do. And if they miss, I have a chance to repose. Well, that's one that, hit. That's one hit. That's another hit. Two hits. Miss. That's a miss, so I'll claim a repost. Mm -hmm. um, Holy do... flame. So, two. Oh. Two hits, two misses. Three. three. That's another. That's a third. Uh, the fourth. Wow. Oh, dear. And the fifth. All right. Holy so I have... mother of God. That's so... a lot of damage. So I got one repost in here. I'm just going to roll that real quick for posterity, if that's okay. Yeah, you're going to repost against this guy right here. Yep. Uh, he's going to go ahead and take 13 bludgeoning. Okay. Bludgeoning? What you were attacking with? Uh, Warhammer. A Warhammer. Oh, okay. I came prepared. Mm, like last so time, do. when I threw it. <laughs> 13 it is. Yeah, it's you crunch right. bones. Well, but now let's I see how much damage they do to me. Uh, the the, uh, the 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 blades are heated, so they do both regular damage as well as fire damage. But you can take half of that. Yep. So the first one. So it's uh, six is nine and six. Uh, so it's twelve points because you take three points of fire damage, and you okay. reduce it also by three as well. Because oh, you're right. Armor. Thank you. Yeah, remember I that. I keep forgetting I'm actually stronger. <laughs> yeah. The second one? 